Hello, my name is Michael Carboni and I will be analyzing the brand Dior. Dior is a French company that produces and distributes consumer goods. Christian Dior issued his first collection back in 1947 with his famous Miss Dior fragrance. Dior now has six different product lines. Fragrance, makeup, skincare, jewelry, timepieces, and baby Dior. Christian Dior SE is publicly traded. Dior is in the luxury goods business with several different segments ranging from leather goods to perfumes to skincare goods. Competitors at Dior are, but not limited to, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Prada, Gucci, and Burberry. Dior's target market consists of consumers that enjoy a fashionable lifestyle but also have high incomes. According to CAP for 2015, the aim of positioning is to identify and take possession of a strong rationale that gives us a real or perceived advantage. Using that template, I have created a positioning statement for Dior. Dior designs and distributes top quality luxury goods across several different product lines. From fragrances to skin products to fashionable accessories, Dior targets niche consumers that live a lavish lifestyle. They will continue to successfully market their brand using social media, exhibits, and celebrity endorsement. I compared Dior's positioning statement to that of Beerberry that is very similar. It talks about how iconic the brand is in the history and how tradition is very important to the brand itself. Here I've created a perceptual map that depicts Dior and its competitors and how they match up regarding price for products and how modern or classic each company's trends are. Dior, similar to its competitors, has high prices. However, still remains traditional with classic trends and hasn't made itself more modern like other competitors have. I will begin my brand analysis with brand identity. Cape for 2004 stated, modern competition calls for two essential tools of brand management. Brand identity, specifying the facets of brand's uniqueness and value and brand positioning, the main difference creating preference in a specific market at a specific time. Capra's 1997 brand identity prism can be applied to Dior for physique, elite status and quality, relationship, elegance and luxury, reflection, affluence and style, personality, fashionability, culture, classic heritage brand, and self-image, high income and social class. As a heritage brand, Dior has several iconic elements that are seen in commercials, retail outlets, and fashion shows. Rise of Bose 2003 offers three factors that influence brand management. This framework stresses marketing communication, consumer experience, and social influence. To apply that to Dior for marketing communication would be seen in fashion houses, exhibits, in-store shopping, online shopping, boutiques, social media presence, for consumer experience, consumer loyalty, brand heritage, and the use of social media, and for social influence, celebrity endorsement, fashion shows, and Miss Dior. According to Aker in 1991, brand equity is a set of assets such as a name awareness, loyal customers, perceived quality, and associations that are linked to the brand and add value to the product or service being offered. The social impact statistics from Interbrand back in 2016 show how many customers and people are aware of their company through social media platforms. Acre 1997 asserts that brand personality is the set of human characteristics associated with the brand. Dior is a company that has changed a lot since 1947. It has grown significantly and added multiple product lines that revolve around luxury goods. Acre's brand personality framework can be applied to Dior Sincerity, as a heritage brand, super traditional. Excitement, celebrity endorsement, fashion houses and fashion shows. Competence, reliable and elegant company. Sophisticated, traditional global brand. And ruggedness wouldn't really apply. It would be uh, the opposite of that. I chose celebrity endorsement for my special interest area because it is a big part of 
Dior's marketing strategy. From commercials to ads to fashion shows, they want people to see their products on A-list actors and athletes and so on. One of those A-list actors is Natalie Portman, seen in Miss Dior ad. She's been Miss Dior since 2010. Dior believes keeping the same face carries more social influence when marketing their products. Dior is quite a successful company in the luxury goods market. It's vastly grown since its beginning in 1947, and brand identity, image, equity, personality are all essential to Dior and its continued success in the global market.